a synagogue in Ukraine, captured something absolutely creepy and mysterious. A brilliant ball of light floating ominously near the synagogue wall. The authentic video shows the ball of light floating down to hover, swaying back and forth slightly in one place. It stays there for a moment, glowing its mystery, until it flies upward again disappearing forevermore. The ball of light isn't a perfectly circular orb. In fact, it looks almost gelatinous as its shape changes slightly in its hovering, with protuberances bulging slightly here and there. So what is this light? What could it be? Scientists are baffled and can't seem to find any explanation for it, leaving explanations up to popular opinion. These opinions range from a lightning ball to a reflection of infrared light to someone's very soul. Jewish people were ordered to gather here before they were sent off to camps in WW2, so the possibility of it being someone's soul looks promising. I wouldn't be surprised if souls abounded here. The truth is, we'll likely never know what was the source of this light, and we probably weren't meant to know. Would you invite yourself into a demon's home? Published by Toppy in December of 2021, that's what this ghost hunter did, and he would live to regret it. He quickly realizes he is not alone. After hearing faint footsteps on the floor above, he sets up his camera in the darkness. That's when this happens. Later, he is trying to communicate with the poltergeist, and he receives an answer. Will he heed the spirit's warning? No, he will not, and the demon doesn't like it. Would you stay a minute longer inside this haunted place? A minute seems too long to me. After a mission to an old haunted railway tunnel, Crypto Girl 13 spied something mysterious in her footage while editing. Published in August of 2013, the Crypto Girl and her friend are navigating through the forest and mud to the mouth of the tunnel. After wading through obstacles of sludge and climbing over large branches, they arrive at the entrance, zooming into the deep darkness. The video starts glitching out as she talks about the story of a monster living in the tunnel. Old story that a uh, some kind of creature. I think that's some kind of creature. Getting closer to the entrance, they hear some creepy noises inside. But it was upon editing the footage that they spotted these two glowing red orbs, which they believe to be eyes of the legendary monster. Were they closer to the cryptid than they ever imagined, or is there something else inhabiting this old railway tunnel? Since it's been almost 10 years, I don't know if this mystery will ever be solved. Can a person passing away stop the clocks? This video posted by LMonkA7X to the Ghosts subreddit calls that into question. Monk explains in the comments that his partner was working the night shift at the hospital when a patient passed at 3.11 a.m. Porters arrived to transport the body around 45 minutes later. Not long after, a nurse was logging the passing in the computer when she observed a clock's hand spinning rapidly. The passing was logged into the computer at 4.10 a.m. And a minute later, the clock stopped spinning at 4.11 a.m., exactly an hour after the man's passing. While Monk admits to ordinarily being a skeptic, his partner's reaction to what happened, as well as everyone else's in the ward, convinced him that this was no practical joke. This was real. All who paid witness to the odd timing were shaken up over it. Being that the clock is analog and not digital, Monks suggest it's strange that the clock stopped on the exact right time of day after going berserk. He also believes that the whole thing was paranormal, being that the clock's actions coincided with the passing of the patient and the processes surrounding it. What do you think? Coincidence or not? 
The people of Reddit are on both sides of the fence. Either way, the timing couldn't have been creepier. This old video was allegedly taken in 1988, then found in a remote log cabin decades later before making its way onto YouTube. An unseen cameraman is intently studying an open window when suddenly this happens. The window snaps shut just as a paranormal wail fills the entire forest and the camera goes blank. The quality of this video kind of looks digital to me, so this could be fake, but I'm not so sure. Maybe they were using a filter to make it look older. Let me know if you have the answer and also how you could tell. This scary highway encounter would have easily gone unnoticed forever if not for a dash cam recording. Pay attention to the bottom right and you'll see a blurry figure slip under the car in a matter of seconds. Pause the video and you'll see the undeniable outline of a girl from the waist up. She appears to be wearing a white dress and staring ahead with a gray face. I guess this could be light reflecting off of the pavement, but this also really does look like the outline of a person who was once living. Maybe every so often they appear in the exact same location where they sadly lost their life years ago. Something in the woods is about to blow this cop's mind and his eardrums. He walks back with wide eyes and puts his flashlight away, completely done with the situation until backup arrives. But backup doesn't seem to do much better. I think this could be a recording because the scream sounds exactly the same both times. So maybe somebody put a really good speaker system in the woods, or maybe that's just what I'm choosing to believe because I don't want to accept that this is real. You may think you're alone, but are you really? Posted to TikTok by Tayasha, this one is bound to give you the heebie-jeebies. On what looks to be a stormy night, the TikToker is walking around an abandoned building when she spots this in the window. The dark-haired figure appears ghoulish, staring out at the passerby. What do you think this mystery figure wants, and who is it waiting for? This has either got to be the paranormal or a very elaborate hoax. There's simply no in-between. Barack Alie offers this video as proof that his house is haunted, but maybe there is more to it than that. Listen to this part and tell me if you can hear a fan, or some kind of air current, or really anything that could be causing the door to slam like this. I've seen a draft cause a door to slam shut one time, but never over and over. Have you? Barack records the top and bottom of the door to show that no one is near it, so this absolutely has to be a one in a million problem with the ventilation system, or else the supernatural at work. The David Livingstone Center is a reportedly haunted museum in Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Oh, shit, behind you. When they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. What would you do if you saw this happening in your home? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Raymond Powell, Raymond writes, Not proof, but it definitely freaked me out. Looking for advice. A screwdriver sitting on the counter is moving on its own with no one and nothing near it to cause such behavior. Raymond runs over to the cupboard, opening it to see if there's anything under the counter that might trigger it. He turns up nothing. Picking up the screwdriver, he looks around his home. When he starts hearing random pounding coming from above, he gets his step stool to open the hatch above his attic. <sighs> 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 
He calls out a greeting, but catches nothing up there on camera. While some in the comments were waiting for a jump scare, others like redditor everything is dumb 0624 were trying to find answers. You either got a ghost or a person living in your crawl space, he writes. I'm not sure which one would be worse. This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. Una noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Wait, wait. ¿Quién eres? Dale, ir. Wherever he goes, it follows. Pues muéstrate, no seas cobarde. Muéstrate, muéstrate, muéstrate. Oh, la bestia, no mames. No, 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 tranquilo. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. entrado sobre esto? No, no manches. ¿Qué fue eso? After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. Jose Cruz is stuck at home in Arlington, Virginia, so he decides to take a random video of the rain. Only when looking at the video much later does he notice the ghost of a girl twisting in the wind for a brief moment before fading away. From what I understand, falling rain is one of the most difficult things to fake in terms of video editing, which makes me think the ghost sighting is real. The more times you look at it, the more it looks like she really does stop, consider him for a moment, and then goes on her way. I mean, wind or not, rain shouldn't move move like that unless something is physically under it. YouTuber Steven G faced a very common fear in this video. Someone secretly living in their house. He says that a couple years ago, he discovered a person living in his basement, in a closet under a table and a pile of bicycles. Surprisingly, the squatter had been living there for three months without ever being detected. Well already, this is creepy enough, but wait, it gets even creepier. Steve leads viewers from the front door of what appears to be an apartment building to his apartment showing viewers where a stairway leads upstairs to the second and third floors. There is a random door to the side of this stairway with a window above. He notes that the door doesn't have a knob. He said that he just noticed the window yesterday, even though he's been living in this building for three years. So naturally, he broke in, unlocking the window for a search and what he found was pretty terrifying. A makeshift bed appears in this random storage closet. The bed is a simple pile of blankets and a pillow, situated on a mezzanine of sorts, that sits above the below door. There are also boxes in the corner, and what appears to be a key laying off to the side. In part two of the video series, Steve manages to loop what he thinks is a key with a ski pole but discovers it's just a keychain. In part four of the video series, as some YouTube comments duly note, the sheets that were originally on the bed are now folded and set on top of it. Other YouTubers note a clownish looking face appears in the bottom right hand corner of the window towards the end of the video. Yikes. Steve also says that he confronted the landlord about the space, which is obviously being lived in, and the landlord made a joke about it, saying that when he gets in a fight with his wife, he lays low in this secret room. 
I don't know what's creepier, a secret squatter or a landlord using this space for his own man cave in your home. YouTuber named Dylan James TV hears a low metallic humming noise and starts recording. Everything from religious warnings to alien technology has been suggested as possible explanations. I'm not sure what it is, but I will say that this definitely sounds like some sort of mysterious buzzing noise. Tell me if you think this sounds like a machine or something else. Bonding with nature takes on a whole new meaning when creepy stuff like this happens. It's extremely rare to see that anywhere. Oh, look, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Did you just say it? No, just grab it. It's eating the a midday hike turns terrifying when a bat snuggles up in mom's hair. Anderton Explorer caught the entire creature sighting on camera. Now they have to figure out how to get it untangled. <laughs> Snapping their fingers to scare it off is a good idea, but the bat doesn't seem to care much. It spreads its wings, turns around, and marches towards her face. <laughs> The mom is getting really scared, and who wouldn't be when a bat is about ready to crawl up next to your ear? They have to save her. Would you be brave enough to do the same? Will you hold still? <laughs> God. The bat is off of her, but it stays near all their possessions. It's dazed, not moving at all, and then suddenly it flies up in her daughter's face and almost gets in her hair next. Something almost has to be wrong with it. This isn't normal behavior at all. Think about it. A nocturnal creature sighting in broad daylight is a bad sign. An animal that is normally afraid of humans landing directly on one is even worse. The bat might have had rabies. If so, it was probably trying to get at her, but couldn't find its way through her hair. So with that in mind, this video becomes even scarier when you realize it could have been unknowingly poking for nearly three minutes straight at a bat that could potentially have rabies. The whole family was treating it like a joke, when in reality they could have gotten a serious case. In their defense, they do say in the comments that they saw the bat fly back into its cave, though how exactly that makes it any less likely to have rabies or not is something I don't understand. Christmas is apparently a time for scary things caught on camera, according to one grumpy ghost who is not exactly in the holiday spirit. I'm not 100% convinced that this scary ghost video is real, but I have to admit it's awfully strange how their dog barks right before it happens. It sounds like the dog knows something is already in the house, something paranormal, or perhaps they are simply using a string. This video will definitely make you want to double check all of your wiring in your home. Eric McGregor takes one look at this discolored brown outlet and identifies a major problem. It's catching on fire. Ah! Amber sparks shoot out of the middle of a frayed wire that is still hot and fully charged. It looks like the wall is going to catch on fire at any moment, especially here 23 seconds into the video. Eric calmly unscrews the outlet and plucks it free from the wall, which in turn trips the breaker and turns off all the power. I don't know if this is the safest solution, so you definitely shouldn't consider this video to be a tutorial of any kind, but his strategy does seem to work in this specific instance. Sometimes these kind of faulty wires can go undetected for months or even years. 
All it takes in the meantime is one random spark, especially late at night, to change everything forever. A YouTuber named Tyler Hardy wakes up in the middle of the night, only to find one of his friends standing in the corner with his back turned. Tyler wakes up everyone else and they soon agree that he must be sleepwalking. They're in the middle of laughing at him when they realize, to their horror, that he is not exactly sleeping after all. This video is only about half a minute long, so it's hard to tell if he is really possessed or not. That shrieking hiss is definitely a strong indication that he really was, though. Maybe if it was a little longer, we would know for sure. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.